Argentina bounce back from their defeat to Saudi Arabia with a 2 0 win over Mexico as Lunes Scaloni makes a bunch of changes. And of course, who scores the first goal? It was first goal, yeah, Lionel Messi. And as, yeah. very, very late first goal. Um, obviously, it's a really important goal. And in the list of Messi moments, it's going to be up there. It wasn't. Tremendous no. goal. Um, you know, he took a shot. I think Memo Chua could have done better. Yeah. The, the, Herrera. The, the defenders. I'm assuming he was unsighted. Yeah, there was a few bodies in front, but Herrera is too late to come across and, and, and block the shot when everybody in the whole world knew what Messi was going to do. Yeah, it's kind of pretty odd. When Messi has him on that position, he usually shoots. Yeah, so exactly. it's not really a surprise. Um, yeah, I, I didn't like the way they lined up. I didn't. You know, Enzo Fernandez came on, scored a tremendous goal. Lovely I would goal. assume at this point he's going to start. Sure. Guido yeah. Rodriguez starting. Well, I'm sorry, why? Against Mexico? I mean, Paredes was bad in the first game. So you, you know, drop Paredes? him. You understand why you don't drop him? You keep the ball. And then maybe you think the physicality from Mexican, that Guido will be the I, I don't know, because I'm struggling to understand why Wait, we I don't mean, have a DePaul, Enzo midfield too. Guido that's Rodriguez it. is basically an Argentine Matic, right? Yeah, yeah. With less talent, exactly. right? Yeah, exactly. So, w w why do you need him in this game? I don't game? know. I don't know. I mean, I, it, was, it, was, it was just a, it was just odd choices it again. It was weird. Um, and, you know, I, I, at left back, dropping Tagliafico, again, I thought that was a bit weird too. Like, did he do that much wrong? At least you've got a guy who can you yeah, but Acuna, Acuna as well. Acuna is, is a decent left back. Uh, that didn't shock me. That didn't as much as that didn't shock me as much as the Guido Rodriguez choice, which I thought was really weird. Or what, do we, what do we make of Mexico? Because we talked about sort of, you know, they always advance and get to the round of 16. I just never want to see Tata Martino managing one of the games. I want him out. I don't want him in Doha. I don't want to co come across him. I know they can still qualify. But they would need a bit of a not a miracle, but a lot of things going their way. I just think Tata Martino's. I just think that Tata Martino has done m more bad things for this national team than good things. And I think this is an understatement. I think he's been terrible. His tenure has been terrible. They've, they've, they've lost to the U.S. I think three or four times since he's been in charge. I mean, come on. It's a poor generation of players relative to the ones they had in the past as well, yeah, right? Yeah, so. potentially. And there's, but there's players that are really good, like Esan Alvarez, who he doesn't even play. So what's the point? This group, by the way, yeah, it's an Alvarez thing. I, I, don't, know, I just can't get my head around it. <laughs> when I was, uh, uh, I was doing the YouTube show and the lineups came through while we were on air and the person who sent the lineups through just had the last names, right? And I saw Alvarez. And so I assumed. You assumed that I was assumed the right one. Alvarez. I would assume it was that guy. The right one. No, it's the other dude. It was the wrong Alvarez. Wojciech Chesney saves a penalty and Robert Lewandowski finally scores his first World Cup goal as Poland defeats Saudi Arabia 2-0. Did you see how happy Lewandowski was? Oh, no, no. And there's the assist on the Zielinski goal it as well. So sweet. Yeah, I was happy, happy for Zielinski. Yeah, because really Zielinski nice deserves goal. more credit. And I, I thought he was getting forward more. He, it looked like you know uh, he had more of those opportunities. Lewandowski, by the way, not top form. He had that other breakaway where he was on his own with Krakowiak. He couldn't get him the ball. Yeah. But you know the goal changes things, and now Poland suddenly I think are. Are in a good position and look, Saudi Arabia, the tremendous home support. They missed the penalty as well. They played well too. They, they, they did not play badly at they all. They created chances. I'm telling you, this group. That's amazing. Let's review this a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Uh, mi amigos argentinos next door. Yeah. You guys aren't home and hosed at all. Definitely not. At all. Definitely fact, not. Let's just review this quickly because Argentina on three points, yeah. Poland on four points. Yeah. Saudi on three points yeah. and Mexico on one point, yeah. right? So everybody can still qualify. Everybody can still qualify. Um, Poland against Argentina is kind of an it's in and out huge game. game. I love Chesney at the end saying, no offense to Saudi Arabia players, but I'm here to play against Messi and Argentina. And <laughs> yeah, I, think, I, I think the Poles are going to be really, really up for this and really looking, especially now that they can qualify. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and you know, it's funny because I think stylistically, I don't think they're a bad match against hmm? against Argentina. Yeah, you know, yeah. if you look at the, the, the types of threats that, that Argentina brings. So um, I am going to that game and I'm really looking yeah, forward to it. Yeah, that would be good. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.